So this is, we're filming uh, this episode on Human Rights Day. Yesterday, the State Department, U.S. State Department, came out with a release called Combating Global Corruption and Human Rights Abuses. And I just want to read from it for a second. So on the occasion of the International Anti-Corruption Day and the eve of International Human Rights Day, the U.S. is taking the following actions to promote accountability of corruption and human rights abuse around the world. These actions include financial sanctions, building upon the implements of the Global Minitsky Act, four additional country-focused executive orders. The actions also include visa restrictions pursuant to Section 7031C of the Department of State, Foreign Operations and Related Programs Appropriation Act 2022. So this is uh, very important. And so what they say exactly uh, in relation to Falun Gong is that Tong Yong, former deputy director of the Chongqin area prisons in the PRC, pursuant to Section 7031C, the De State Department is designating Tong for his involvement in gross violations of human rights, namely arbitrary detention of Falun Gong practitioners, which also amount to particularly severe violations of religious freedom. This is the second time that the Biden State Department has sanctioned an official for violations of human rights against Falun Gong. The first one was done last year, which was Yu Hui, who was a former office director of the so-called Central Leading Group on Preventing and Dealing with Heretical Religions, who was also sentenced under the Section 7031C. So the Section 7031C is a broad, um, a broad sanction that actually applies not only to the official being sanctioned, but also to their families not being allowed um, entry to the U.S. And so some of these sanctions uh, have financial repercussions, such as if you have property in the U.S. or you have any sort of assets in the U.S., they can be seized. But some, some officials in, in the CCP don't have assets in the U.S. So by using the 7031C, uh, the State Department broadens that sanction by saying that you won't even be allowed admission. So, you know, college admission or other admissions. So this is a very powerful sanction that actually has effects on the ground in China. We mentioned on our last show, this was one of the things that we recommend for more of this to happen. When these uh, sanctions happen, that officials on the ground in China try to change their title or the department that they work in in order to try to um, get away from these sanctions. And in some isolated cases, uh, we know that uh, even some of the persecution against Falun Gong practitioners uh, gets better or, or they're released entirely, although that's not on a broad scale. We hope to see more of this in the future. Um, and